New York City is a fabulous place. It's the leading place in terms of technological development, entertainment, research, a number of different areas. And we want to protect this city and make it a healthy and happy place to live in. And one of the ways that we can do this is by actually looking at the microbes which are found in the environment. It's essentially uh, finding out the microbiome of New York City. And knowing a lot about the microbiome of New York City, we may be able to find solutions to several problems. And scientifically, it is a very fascinating, interesting project whose time has come because uh, genome sequencing is getting cheaper and better. And obviously, when you think about the environment round about here, it's incredibly diverse. I mean, we could look for microbes on elevator buttons, in subways, in the soil. So we have to start somewhere. And that place that we thought we would start with uh, was looking at sewage. So, for example, we know that there are thousands of microorganisms that live in our body, and the sum uh, total of those is called the, the microbiome, the sum total of all of their genes and genomes. So some of the ways that we hope we're going to make public health better uh, in New York City is, for example, um, being able to see if we can track flu epidemics over time and perhaps identify them before they hit our particular area. That's one of the beauties of research and basic research. You never know where it's going to lead you and what incredible findings you'll have and what applications they will have. And this project that we uh, are embarking on is truly a collaboration between urban science, biological research and medicine.